Hey, what's going on with it, uh, bros and my bros? In fact, this is the one, the only. Nintendo Freak 2011, aka Criticism Guide 2009. So before I begin real quick, um, <clears throat> I actually did another video on my Criticism Guide 2009 channel, like I just mentioned, um, about the whole Pokemon X and Y Mega Evolution update. So if you want to check that out, put the link down in the description box below so you can see my whole thoughts on it. I didn't do a face cam one for that one because I was kind of feeling like crap that day. So uh, I have a really loud opinionated ideas on that shit. So without further ado, let's begin. So uh, you can see Gogo. I'm really just going to talk about Mega Kangaskhan, but I'll get to the other ones after I'm done with Mega Kangaskhan. See, so yeah, basically, um, <clears throat> Mega Kangaskhan actually got a brand new Mega Evolution, which wasn't really too much of a um, drastic measures change, in a way, if you will. Because um, the only thing that they made Kangaskhan a little bit more different was that um, it has this new brand new ability called the Parental Bond, which makes a baby in the pouch, baby Kangaskhan, which a lot of people have been speculating over the years, including myself, that that's the official Cubone back in the days, but they weren't going to give it to Cubone to Marowak to evolve into Marowak to evolve into Kangaskhan. But, finally they actually did something with this. Thank fucking God that they did, because if they didn't, that would have been a piece of shit idea for them to throw out there. I mean, it's not really a drastic change. Kangaskhan is still the same, it's just it's, um, it's baby when it does a mega evolution, when it gets the their special item to evolve that's when it changes and you'll see there in a minute see there it is right there he's just ready to kick some fucking ass and it has the ability like i said has parental bond and i think it's pretty fucking badass because you can attack twice now because imagine if you have a kangaskhan with outrage and a scope lens at the same time for all my competitive battlers out there you'll basically sweep the shit out of every opponent out there seriously and especially you give this thing like um bulk up Whew. this thing is a fucking beast already Seriously. And without further ado on that part, let's just talk about its attacks it's probably going to be getting. It's probably going to be Crush Claw, any of the brand new normal type attacks. It would be funny if they had normal fairy type on there, but um, they're probably just going to leave it the same. The thing that's going to make it weird is that maybe they can make all the females with the pouch female, and they can make all the ones without the pouch male, you know, so that doesn't cause any diversion or confusion out there, what have you, you know. That's what I think. And, um, what else did they say that was a bit different? They showed a kick in this Lucario's ass, which is crazy as shit, by the way. And one of the brand new Pokemon out there, I don't know, remember its name, but you'll see it there. And let's talk about the pre-evolution. So this one's called Skiddo. I didn't actually talk about this on my Criticism Guide 2009 channel, but, um, I thought it was pretty fucking cool because that's the pre-evolution of Go-Go. And I think it was awesome as fuck because in a way... <clears throat> That thing looks strong as hell already. There was already a lot of scans, which I didn't get to get a chance to get those kind of scans on Google. Um, that one was for Tumblr. You already know I don't really give a shit about Tumblr too much. But you know what? When I do stuff like this, I'll get, have a little bit of forgiveness for them. A little bit of sympathy. Not that much. But yeah, other than that, um, there's these three baby evolutions. Dadini is this one, and then um, Bunnelby is supposed to be this one. That looks like Bugs Bunny on crap. I don't know why. It just does to me, in my opinion. I'm just waiting for him to say, hey, what's up, Doc? You know, that type of shit. Not the Looney Tunes show one with that piece of crap that has a little bunny on that. That one's fucking me out of that shit. That's for the younger generation, not for me. I mean, the older Looney Tunes was even way before I was even alive back in the fucking 60s. I, was, I wasn't born until 1989, way after that. So yeah, other than that, let's talk about these other evolutions. I'm not going to get into none of their um, Pacifics or anything like that. The only thing I'll tell you is that their abilities, I think Lucario is going to have the same one like it did before Steadfast and um, the one where every time he flinches his um, speed increases. There's that one and then the other ability which I completely forgot. And then um, let's talk about um, Absol. The Absol looks like a freaking Pegasus pony with like mixed with Muramasa from Bleach. That's what it looks like to me, you know, it has that little emo haircut and everything. I think that's pretty decent, you know. So, and then, then it gets the special ability called a Magic Mount. So, I think the only Pokemon that had that ability at that, that time was, um, it was either Giraffe Rig or Grumpig. It was one of those two Pokemon that had it. You know, OU, NU, Tears, and all that stuff, all that good jazz. Mawile, that thing, the only two that I really liked the most was Absol and Mawile. Because they deserved it for 11 years already, and they finally got their evolutions. Even though they go back to normal, kind of like how Digimon is, and I already did a rant on that. I'm not going to get too further on that. I love the two badass fucking things that it has in the back of its head. I think it was supposed to be on a, based on a Japanese myth or legend. How a woman would kill people in the forest or in the mountains somewhere. 
when they were unexpected and it had like mouth two big giant mouths in the back of its head so i guess that's the legend from a while and uh, Ampharos, I wasn't really crazy about. Ampharos, Blaziken, and Lucario, I wasn't really crazy about because they look the exact same way as they did before. Somebody actually mentioned that um, their dreadlocks look like Giratina wings, and I could see that to a certain extent, but not really. I don't know. It's just my personal opinion. And then they give it like um, horns on its feet, not just on its um, the palms of its hands. And then Blaziken, he was already over fucking powered enough. If you think that was hard, he's going to be a billion times harder to kick that thing's ass now that it has a mega evolution. <laughs> Jesus fucking Christ, that thing is going to be a beast in competitive OU, RU, NU, the Ubers, etc. It is going to be such a pain in the ass to destroy unless you use Toxic on it or you have a, like a, a status disability. Like if you paralyze it, you can't burn it obviously. If you freeze it, it's going to thaw out the first turn. And if you put it to rest, unless it has like early bird ability, that's different. It's going to be getting the speed boost ability, and its distribution is going to be from October 12th to January 15th. With any of you guys got Wi-Fi internet on there, most of you guys do. I don't because my 3DS is kind of shit sometimes when it comes to that. I mean, it has the internet. This the Franco part doesn't work. Kind of sucks. And uh, yeah, who else did I leave out on there? I know they showed Mewtwo. And the uh, new gym leader name is uh, Korania. I don't know if they're trying to do Iraq stuff or whatever, but she's supposed to be the special gym leader. I think she's going to end up being a fighting type gym leader because I saw a lot of fighting symbols on there. Because in the original one, the very real old school Pokemon, red, blue, and yellow, there was no fighter gym leaders. It was just the Elite Four with Bruno, as he had the fighting type Pokemon, and then the rock type Onyx. And uh, what else? And then the second generation, there was Chuck. Third gen, there was um, Brawly. And then the fourth one, we have Maylene for Diamond, Pearl, Platinum. And then the fifth one, I don't think we had any for fifth, no. And then the black and white two, that's probably when they had it. So, uh, yeah, without further ado on that, um, my overall thoughts on it, it's okay. It's not really a step in the right direction as far as franchising and distribution and advertisement goes. It's a good part on Game Freak's part, but the way they mess up stuff on Manfros before I do end up finishing this video, I don't really like how they did Ampharos. I'm sorry. It does not look nothing like half dragon. Seriously. It looks like Super Saiyan Goku 4 from Dragon Ball GT. That's just my official opinion on it. They should have just kept it pure electric. Because that mane on the back of its head. It's not like My Little Pony mane. But the other type of mane. You know from Dragon Ball Z GT. You know. That was kind of crap. That was stupid. That was real stupidity at its finest for Gang Freak's part. They should have did a better job with that. They should have made it. Either Electric Fighting, Electric Normal, Electric Fairy, I would have bought into that. But Electric Dragon, they should have gave it like a scaly dragon tail or at least give it like um, claws or fangs or even wings for that matter, you know. But no, Game Freak kind of went the stupid way when they did that. Unlucky it doesn't stay like that either. That would be crap. So yeah, like I always say, um, like, comment, subscribe, all that good shit. And uh, peace out, bros and bros and pixels. I will see you when I see you. Guys, have a good day, have a good night, wherever you're at around the world. Don't drink and smoke weed at the same time. Don't do anything reckless. And um, I will talk to you guys later, all right? You guys be easy, stay safe. See you on the next one. All that good stuff. And um, yeah, take care, everyone, and uh, goodbye. Oh, yeah, and uh, have, have a good weekend. And um, hopefully you saw my special announcement when I did my conspiracy theory on Kim Possible. Finally going to be getting a second job next month because the other shit was just all volunteer work. So, yeah, peace out, be easy, and uh, see you next time, all right? Bye, and... Uh, have a good day.